What's up, a cinema show gun here, and I'm sorry, but I have to call out the BS when I see it. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump out in front of this one because I've noticed that there is now a coordinated effort to pin this whole Quentin Simon situation on the babysitter again. And when I mean a coordinated effort, I mean that this was thought out, this was planned, but not just that. Leilani and Billy Joe have recruited help. They've recruited help from YouTubers. I'm not even going to say the name of their channel because I know that's what they want. We'll just call them the Crypt Keeper. Well, Billy Joe and Leilani, they've recruited the help of the Crypt Keeper to start spreading these rumors about Quentin's babysitter. Earlier today, it will probably be yesterday by the time you watch this video, but earlier, Quentin Simon's babysitter had to go live to fight allegations that she's under investigation. And we all know where the rumors are starting and coming from. Now, of course, this isn't true. She talked to investigators, yes, just like everyone else close to Quentin. But she in no way, shape, or form is a suspect or under investigation at all. But they are spreading these rumors now purposely. And when she went live earlier, it got taken down because people started reporting it. So Billy Joe has found a somewhat of a following. You know, those weirdos that I warned you all about, they always come out and they're here and they're backing the people who are accused of neglecting and possibly allegedly killing a 20 month old child, go figure. But they're now trying to pin this whole situation on the babysitter again. And like I said, I've been telling you all for days and I know I repeat myself a lot, but I, I try to hammer home these facts. And also you have to realize that not everyone watches every video and every video sometimes brings in new viewers. But I've been pointing out for days now that the whole energy shifted and Leilani and Billy Joe, they kind of came together and they went out into the world with a whole new approach to this Quentin Simon case, as opposed to how they approached the situation for the first few weeks. They're talking, they're kind of battling back at the protesters. They did an interview. The other day, they literally, they go out to Quentin Simon's memorial and in their windows, instead of placing a teddy bear, maybe a nice picture of Quentin, they're posting the names of YouTube channels that they want people to watch who support them, who are out here spreading fake lies about the babysitter. They try to dig the babysitter's record up. It's all the same people. These people are downright evil, weird Crypt keeping looking people. I mean, I don't know what to call it. But I also noticed this in Leilani's interview. Go back to Leilani's interview. I have the whole interview up on my channel, various different interview snippets and different videos. Leilani said something along the lines of, We just hope he's safe. We hope someone took him in and thought they were his savior. And they're feeding him and taking care of him. That comment, even though she didn't say the babysitter's name, she didn't directly refer to the babysitter. That's who that comment was hinting towards. It was hinting towards the babysitter. And these people are putting fake information out there about the babysitter would be possessive over Quentin. Or she was like obsessed with Quentin when that's not true at all. And they act as if the babysitter would just come to their house and get Quentin on her own and then go take care of him. That never, ever happened. None of that ever happened. It wasn't an open house for the babysitter to just walk into and take Quentin to her house whenever she wanted to. But this is the type of stuff they're trying to say. Because they want to point the finger at anyone possible now 
All because they got a tad bit of confidence that Leilani's going to get away with this because Quentin hasn't been found yet. And there's a strong possibility, and I want you all to realize this, a strong possibility, I've seen it happen before, that Quentin isn't found in that landfill. And if Quentin isn't found in that landfill, that does not necessarily mean that Quentin is somewhere else. Authorities took, I don't want to say the approximate amount of days and hours, but they took a long time to go search that landfill. And they didn't right away stop the trash from coming into that landfill right after Quentin Simon went missing. It took some days for them to do that. And then some more days to actually go down there and search. There's buzzards out there. Not to mention the fact we, I hate talking about this the most out of everything. Trash compactors, you name it, use your imagination if you want to. So there's a possibility that he's never found. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to gear up and blame anyone possible. And the reason it seems so unbelievable for one, it's because we kind of get a feel of what happened here. But for two, it's because... Like, they're pointing the finger in multiple directions. You have to remember that right when this started, Leilani blamed Quentin's father. And then claimed, oh, never mind, I don't remember anything. And then Billy Joe went over and tried to fight the babysitter. And then Billy Joe went on some live streams and, or not Billy Joe, but my, some dude named Michael, who's Billy Joe's stepson, he came into the situation and started telling everyone they need to look at Danny. So what they're doing here, it's like, have you ever read The Art of War? Or have you ever pay, played like a strategy game? They're doing like a multi-pronged assault. You see this happen in war all the time. Especially like back in the day when they would have like formations and stuff. So almost think of like a pitchfork, right? A three-pronged pitchfork that's attacking you from different angles. You might not be able to attack from the flank. I mean, of course you would want to, but at the very least you're coming directly through here, right down the middle, and you take the eastern and the western flank. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what they're doing here. They've already casted a, the doubt on Bubba, Quentin Simon's father. And now they're going to assault Danny and the babysitter simultaneously. And it's weird to think about this case from this angle. Like this is not an angle that I would usually think about a true crime case from. But they're using some type of strategy here. It might not be a good strategy, but they came up with a strategy. There's a reason that this wasn't happening week one, week two. You know what I mean? This just started happening. This effort and these narratives that they're starting to throw out there. So they took some time to come up with these stories that aren't even that elaborate. And frankly... The babysitter is right down the street. <laughs> She's like two or three houses down. Okay? I'm pretty sure, and, and no offense to her, but I, I just feel like if she did something, she would have been caught. We would know. And she seems to be the only person that was really like a shining light in Quentin's life. Now, as far as the father goes, or not the father, the father, I think he's totally innocent. But as far as Danny goes, the boyfriend, yes, he did haul ass. Maybe he did lie about going to Atlanta. Billy Joe tried to expose that too. But even if he has something to do with the situation, I definitely think Leilani does as well. But it's just one of those situations that's going to continue to drag out. And like I keep telling you all, and I warned you all from the beginning that this is going to get crazy. Has it gotten crazy? I think it's safe to say, right? So the longer this drags out, the crazier it will get. 
The babysitter may be the target right now. And as we speak, they're trying to put out little rumors about the babysitter and all type of weird stuff. It's like, it's like being in middle school all over again. When you look into these true crime cases and you see um, all the stuff that goes on around them, it, it feels like being in middle school. So <laughs> people come together and they formulate rumors together that they both know aren't true. And they go on these platforms and purposely spread these fake rumors just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Literally. Like, for no reason. <laughs> At all. So just go ahead and expect there to be a lot of static coming through to your radio soon. Because there's a lot of noise coming through. But just keep your eyes focused on the target. Because we all kind of know or have an idea about what happened here. We don't know exactly but I think it's safe to say that the babysitter, you could definitely write off. And the fact that they're still trying to point the finger at her, it, it puts a bad taste in my mouth and it makes me feel like they're even more so guilty. You know what I mean? Because why? That, that's desperation. That's really desperate. When you're going so far as to blame someone who lives across the street and has her own kids and literally would be on doorbell cameras stealing your child, where would the child be? You know what I mean? You want us to believe that she came over at four o'clock in the morning and stole Quentin? Huh, frustrating case, but I mean, whatever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.